Hello, my friends. This is Brother Des coming to you today from the Prophetic Bible Teachings for Sunday, July the 7th, 2024. Last Sunday, we find that we went looking at uh, the studies here, the teaching on introduction to chapter 2 showing that there is a difference between the mystery of the believers taken from the earth to meet the Lord in the ear and the second coming of Jesus Christ to the earth with his saints. So today, or today's study, continues with the first section, the mystery or mysterious rapture of the believers of Jesus Christ. And under this topic, we're going to be looking at, remember, we're going to go through the rapture, a sudden event, the rapture, the Lord himself will come, the rapture, the Old Testament prophets, and the mystery, and the rapture, the New Testament apostles, and the mystery. But today, we will continue our studies about the mystery with humans becoming immortals, transformed and caught up by the cloud, and we'll be looking at that first section, the rapture, a sudden event. According to the Bible, 1 Corinthians 15, 50 through 54, this event will be initiated this way. Now this I say, brethren, that flesh and blood cannot inherit the kingdom of God, neither does corruption inherit incorruption. Behold, I show you what? A mystery. We shall not all sleep, but we shall all be changed. In a moment, in the twinkling of an eye, at the last trump, for the trumpet of God shall sound, and the dead shall be raised incorruptible, and we shall be changed. For this corruptible, corruptible must put on incorruption, and this mortal must put on immortality. So then, when this corruptible shall have put on incorruption, and this mortal shall have put on immortality, then shall be brought to pass the saying that is written, death is swallowed up in victory. That's 1 Corinthians 15, 50 through 54. From the above scriptures, first, the above tells us that one of these days there will be a sudden event, and it will be an awakening event. Things about this sudden event. One, it'll be an awakening event. We shall not all sleep. Millions and millions and millions of believers, billions will be taken from the graves and from those who are alive and all be made alive. And then not only would it be an awakening event, it will be a translation event, but we shall all be changed. Millions and millions and millions and millions of believers who are alive and will die and be resurrected and taken from their jobs, uh, from airplanes, cars, vehicles, etc. And together, we both, those who are dead and those who are alive, will all die and be resurrected and translated and taken together, all the same. No more race, color, ethnicity. This would be full equality equity and inclusion, all in the house of God. This is the way God explains what it is to be on the outside now. The inside will be all togetherness, but on the outside. And behold, I come quickly and my reward is with me to give every man according to his work shall be. I am the Alpha and the Omega, the beginning and the ending, the first and the last. Blessed are they that do his commandments, that do his commandments, that they might have right to the tree of life. And many enter in through that gates unto the city. For without are dogs and sorcerers and whoremongers and moderates and idolaters and love it, whosoever love it and make it a lie. I, Jesus, have sent mine angel to testify unto you these things in the churches, Revelation 22, 12 through 16. Then we find it will be a time event. In a moment, in the twinkling of an eye, it will take place in the moment, not, not in the 
twinkle of an eye, but in a moment, in a twinkle in the eye that God and Jesus agreed on so far, so quickly. Note, not the twinkling of an eye, as I mentioned, but in a moment in a, of an eye. But then there'll be a divine event at the last trump for the trumpet shall sound. The last trumpet will sound loudly that will awake the living and the dead. Why the living? They are awake, but not resurrection. Awake, awakening. Instantaneously, the living who are alive when the trumpet of God sounds will die and then be resurrected. Remember what the scriptures say. Now this I say, brethren, that flesh and blood cannot inherit the kingdom of God, neither doth corruption inherit in corruption. Behold, I show you this mystery. Then there'll be a resurrection event. The dead shall be raised incorruptible. This new description of these immortals show that the bodies they would resurrect with would be impossible to see corruption. And then there'll be a community event. We shall be changed. Friends, we got to be changed because Christians not even on the even keel today. There are whites against blacks and against the others and this against that one and parties against this party and all the rest. Isn't it great? We shall all be changed. The living believers will suddenly die on the spot, come back to life together with the dead and become alive and be changed in, in the transformation process and will be rapidly taken to the clouds to meet the Lord in the air. Notice the transformation process for this corruptible must put on incorruption and this mortal must put on immortality. So when this corruptible shall have put on incorruption and this mortal shall have put on immortality, the corruptible put on incorruption. Mortal bodies will become immortal. And so we study on this topic of the mystery. The humans become immortals, transformed and caught up. One day, you know, I've already in the book explained the anatomical and physiological aspects of the miraculous change and what it means for humans to become immortals. So we find this is the textbook, which is on Amazon. So as we move on now and we, we, we would find uh, it's a victorious process. Then shall be brought to pass the saying that is written, death is swallowed up in victory. Death loses its victory. The above eight areas are presented in the first description as presented from 1 Corinthians 15, 50 through 54. But as we move to the second set of descriptions in 1 Thessalonians, 4, 13 through 18, in these scriptures, the apostle Paul described the event in relation to five areas, to God, to Jesus Christ, to the bodies in the grave, to the souls of saints in heaven, and to the living believers of Jesus Christ who would be alive when the event occurs. Pay attention to this mystery in the next teaching as we focus on the rapture, the Lord himself will come. You will get even a greater understanding of the mystery where humans become immortals, transformed and caught up by the cloud. Get your book. But you know the lessons for today, just two lessons, as I mentioned. If you are born again, and you have invited Jesus Christ into your life, continue to live for him. We know times are rough and Satan on every hand trying to destroy like a roaring lion, those who hold fast to Christ. But friends, continue to live for Jesus Christ. Second, fight the good fight. The good fight. All this political uprising and upsets and all the rest, that's not your fight as a believer in Jesus Christ. 
You got a different city. You're like Abraham. He sought for a city whose builder and maker was God. Not these things here that will decay and fall away. Look forward to the eternal city. That eternal kingdom where righteousness will dwell and rule. So fight the good fight. Win souls for Jesus Christ. Lay hold on eternal life. Make sure that you are with God. The Bible reminds us we need to examine ourselves to see if we're in the faith, lest we be reprobate. Lay hold on eternal life. And the fourth thing, witness for Jesus Christ. Because you have been called into the ministry of reconciliation, bringing man right with God. And you have the word of reconciliation according to 2 Corinthians 5. Read it. And the fifth thing, you're also an ambassador. And as an ambassador of Jesus Christ, stand your ground and represent Jesus Christ wherever you go and be. Lesson number two. If you have never asked Jesus to come into your life and be your Lord and Savior, ask him right now to forgive you of your sin. You notice I always say sin. That's I am. That's the sin nature that we are born with, that we are doomed to die and go to hell if we don't accept Christ as Savior. I didn't say sins. 1 John 1, 9 tells us about that. If you are a believer and you commit something, if we confess our sins, he is faithful and just to forgive us of our sins and to cleanse us from all unrighteousness. Just saying, confess, yes, Lord, I did this, I did that. And friends, so if you're not a believer, trust Jesus. Become a believer and be ready for the rapture that may occur at any moment. Thanks for all you for viewing this prophetic video. Share it with everyone. With love, Brother Des. Remember, the textbook from which I'm giving these studies is The Mystery, colon, Humans Becoming Immortals, dash, Transform and Caught Up by the Cloud. Author, Desmond Michael Covley, PhD. The ebook, $2.99. The paperback, $9.22. The hardcover, $14.99. Get a copy. Follow along. Also, you may follow this ministry on YouTube, Facebook, my story, Instagram, Twitter, WhatsApp, LinkedIn, Pinterest. Also, check out our website, www.corbanje.com. Okay? Listen, you have a nice day. And God bless you.